Uh, my name's Bernie Hiskins. I'm a bit of an inventor and I live in Perth. Bernie's the classic backyard inventor. His background was as a radio engineer with a long experience in the RAAF and then for many years working as a radio engineer running out um, transmitters and repeater stations. So, you know, he was quite highly technical and he's a handy man on the lathe. Goes in there. That goes around to there. That goes into there like that. That comes up there. Then you turn it around. Now this is the thing, you get these guys, they're highly specialised, they're highly skilled, they work very hard, they retire, and 10 years after they retire, they wake up going, aha. And old engineers have this bad habit of inventing things, right? Now old engineers should not be allowed to be left alone for too long or they'll invent something. That's what I've realised. <laughs> I've called it the stay put coat hanger. This is only a coat hanger, you know? Not a Swiss watch. There's one thing wrong with these, they won't wear out. Bernie's problem was something that he started working on when he was in his 20s. And now he's in his 70s, and after 10 years of trial and error, he's developed a device that improves the combustion of liquid fuels. Turn the fuel on. Bernie's uh, fuel enhancer gives us very good improvements in fuel economy and cuts tailpipe emissions quite considerably. What I've got my hand on is the unit that's doing all the work. In other words, <clears throat> it's changing the molecular structure of your petrol. Going good, there's no bubbles going up here. The bubbles you were looking at are oxygen. Now, we, to get this, you're using two radio waves. I'm, I'm on the border of nano technology. The average person wouldn't understand it. Fuel device is almost ready to go. It has um, got to be double checked by a professor here in Perth, and then we'll hand it over to the franchise companies. Now, this cylinder here is one of the devices that Bernie Hiskins has built, and what James is doing is running petrol through it on a rig to simulate the vibration of a normal uh, motor in a car. And one of the um, observations Bernie has made is that when operating under the right conditions, this device seems to generate um, bubbles of gas. One of the things we'll, we, we will be doing in this investigation is analysing the nature of the gas and other aspects of chemistry of the petrol after it's been through the device. We had a, a mechanic with substantial experience, 50 years experience, on Fords, test a Ford, and he got a very good improvement in fuel economy. I put one of uh, <clears throat> Bernie Hiskin's devices into the car about five years ago, and um, I noticed an improvement right away with the car. I'm happy. He's not getting this one back. It'd be important for you to actually understand what's sort of What we're seeing uh, is, as far as we're aware, previously unobserved. And as such, we're calling it the Hiskins effect. The university named it after me. The Hiskins effect, yeah. Curtin University has provided us with a very good starting point and it's definitely demonstrated beyond doubt that something is happening in the Hiskins device that improves the performance